Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be taking a look at um, angle and arc circle theorems. So let's go ahead and take a look at the question. It reads, diameter ROQ of circle O is extended through Q to point P and tangent PA is drawn. If the measure of arc RA is 100 degrees, what is the measure of angle P? Okay, so let's give ourselves a visual of what's going on here so we can go ahead and solve the problem so we have the diameter of circle O so let's draw circle O first so this right here is a circle O and then we're gonna draw the diameter um, R O Q so um, Let's see, we're going to start from R. So let's say point R is right here. Okay, so this is R. And then you're going to have ROQ. So the diameter is a segment that goes from one circumference to the other through the center of the circle. So ROQ. Now what you notice, it states here that the diameter um, is extended through Q to point P, so ROQ to some point P out here, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to extend the diameter past point uh, Q to P, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead. Da, 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 da. There you have it. So there you go, point P. It's just a sketch, okay? Okay, so now that we have point P, we're now going to shift our attention to the tangent piece. So, um, a point, uh, and tangent PA is drawn, okay? So some point here, let's say a point here, you have a tangent line, all right? So a tangent line from point P to A, where point A is the point of tangency between the line and the circle. So let's well, let's assume this is a tangent line. Make it work right there. Bam. All right. So point A, that's the point of tangency for our circle. Shift it a little bit. Okay. There you go. All right. So now that we have a sketch of the situation, let's go ahead and start populating the measures. We're told that the measure of arc RA is 100 degrees. So this angle, this arc right here is 100 degrees. All right. We have to find the measure of our angle P. What on earth is this one right here? Okay. So let's go ahead and first of all, outline the steps that we're going to employ to solve the problem. And then um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay. All right, so first of all, if you take a look at what we have here, we have a situation where we have um, a diameter, okay? So what does a diameter do to the measure of the arc around the circle? The measure around the circle is 360 degrees, okay? And this splits it in half. So um, if we can find the measure of this piece right here, this angle, let's call it 1, then we'll be able to use one of the um, tangent line and secant line problems of um, theorems involving angles to figure out what this angle is right here. All right, so just call this number two. So the sequence of steps are as follows. Number one, figure out what this angle is since we know the measure of a full circle and we have half a circle. And then after we know what the measure of this angle is, since we have a tangent line and a secant line, we can use our angle and circle, angle and arc circle theorems to find uh, what the measure of this angle is, which is angle P. All right, so let's go ahead and write it down. So our steps are as follows. Uh, number one, we want to find uh, angle one. Find one, and then two, find two using the angle and arc circle theorems. 
so just do it one at a, at a time okay all right so first of all let's find this this one right here so this when we say find one what we're basically looking for is measure of arc aq bam that's that's what we're looking for okay and then when we're finding two what we're looking for is the measure of angle p so let's find the measure of arc a q now since so let's put the one want to find the measure of arc a q so since arc q is a diameter So what? What does that tell us? Is RQ is a diameter? We know that it's half of a circle, right? So um, full circle is 360. That falls down. The measure of arc RAQ is what? The measure of arc RAQ is uh, 360 divided by 2, right? Full circle is 360 divided by 2. That's 180 degrees. Okay, so this measure from here all the way to here is half circle that's 180 degrees all right the other half is 180 add them together you get 360. all right so what does that help us do well we can set up an equation and find the measure of um arc aq all right so we know that the measure of ra plus the measure of AQ, all right? Angle addition postulate is equal to the measure of RAQ. We know that, all right? Our measure of RA is 100 degrees plus the measure of arc AQ, which we do not know what it is, is equal to 180. So what we do is simply subtract um, 100 from both sides. Subtract the hundred, subtract the hundred. Okay, and then we get uh, the measure of AQ. Arc AQ is eighty degrees. Bam! All right. So this side angle right here is eighty degrees. Okay. So now we can now use one of our circuit theorems. All right. So we're going to take a look at our collection of circ of arc and circuit theorems. And look for the one that involves a, a secant line and a tangent line, and then we'll use that one, all right? Okay, so we're going to go to our website, mathgotserved.com. We're going to go and take a look at the geometry section. And what we'll do is we're going to scroll down to our um, theorems and postulates, okay? Under circles, right here in item number four, you have angle and arc theorems, so click on that. So we have a lot of options here, one, two, three, four times two, eight. So which one do you think is applicable to what we're dealing with? Remember the problem that we're looking at, we have a secant line, okay, and a tangent line. So which one involves a secant and a tangent? Uh, so here we have two secants. Here we have two tangents. Oh, there you go, jackpot right here. So this one involves a tangent line and a secant line. All right, so angle X is basically, so the measure of angle X, this angle right here, which is P that we're looking for, is basically one half the measure of the bigger angle AB minus the smaller, the bigger angle, the bigger arc, minus the smaller arc, okay? All right, so we're now gonna go to part two of our process where we are now gonna find the answer, okay? We are not, we're now going to find the measure of angle P. So what we did is we took a, pick, a snippet of the entire collection of formulas that we just looked at at mathgotserve.com, the one that is applicable to this situation. We have a secant line and a tangent line, okay? And you want to find that angle right there. So you have the formula. Okay, so if we apply the formula, this formula here, to this situation that we're looking at, the question is, what is the relationship between angle P, this smaller arc right here, and this bigger arc right there? Bam. It's the same thing as what this formula is telling us, the relationship between this angle, this smaller arc right here, AC, and this bigger arc right here, AB. 
Okay, so we're gonna set up the formula, our formulaic relationship first, and then we plug in what we know and what we need and solve for it, okay? So this formula helps us to see that the measure of angle P, okay, is equal to uh, one half the uh, measure of the bigger one, arc AR, right, minus the measure of the smaller arc. A cube. Bam. That's what we're looking at right there. All right. So if we substitute, we're going to have uh, measure of angle P is one half. Me measure of arc AR is 100 minus measure of arc AQ is 80. All right. Do the arithmetic simplification. One half of PEMDAS parenthesis first 100 minus 80 is 20. Half of 20 is 10. So the measure of angle P is 10 degrees. So ladies and gentlemen, our answer for this question is option number one. All right, so let's go ahead and box that. There goes our answer right there. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch the presentation. We really appreciate all the support we've been getting from our viewers with your likes, comments, and subscriptions to continue. If you have any questions about what we just went over, you can specify it in the comment section below. Tons of support resources can be found at mathgotserved.com or the links in the description. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.